day one of our next film, Eviction. We're trying to not only share the plight of those who find themselves without a home, but also to help you understand how the system works a little bit. We have an amazing team working on this with us. Everybody is working really hard to try to change the status quo. The eviction crisis is growing. In North Carolina, rents have gone up 75%. The median average rent is now $2,000 a month. And every time rents go up $100, homelessness increases 9%. We're gonna take you behind the scenes. So come with us. And this story is a story of a single mother and daughter who are struggling to find housing after her mother, the grandmother, dies. Um, they were living off of her benefits, and once the mother dies, they have no place to go, they have no benefits. Our lead, our mother and our daughter, they travel around Las Vegas trying to find housing. They go to stay with friends, they stay at a, at a shelter, they stay with the father of the daughter. Throughout the story, we show the issues with the system, um, how hard it is to navigate it, and what kind of actual help is available or is not available for people who are facing eviction and who need a home. Yeah, in this scene, our lead character, who you've seen here, Tonda, um, she's interviewing for a job because she's trying to get you know, uh, on the list to get housing, and unless you have a job, in the state of Nevada, you don't qualify for a lot of programs. So she's trying to get a job. And then when she says, I'm staying on the east side, that's when you're like, that's odd. Right. So then you have the moment of like, what's the address? So right. But you're not thinking something's off. It's like, that's odd. What's the address? Oh, I'll get back to you. And then you right. understand. Oh. Right. Okay. And then you let it go. Scripted films have become another tool that Invisible People uses to reach a different audience, a target audience. Documentary films are great, but a lot of people love to get home and just relax and watch some fictional film. If there's a message in that film that makes you reflect about what's happening in the reality of what's happening today. It's based on true stories. Every bit of the script she has lifted from somebody's story. Yes. She spends months researching and, chatting, uh, and yeah. chatting and then comes up with a powerful script. It's just an opportunity for you to relax, be entertained, and then have some thoughts spark. And without the thought, there is no action, there's no creation. And we're able to control that okay. where the documentaries that we do are not are more governed by whatever story that we're capturing because they're unscripted. Okay, well, you've been running and selected for transitional housing, but we have to move fast. Randomly? Yes, it's like a lottery system. You were one of the lucky ones. Lucky? Yeah, I was, I was coming out of this uh, abusive situation, abusive marriage. Had to wind up moving, and uh, I never thought that I would end up in a situation like that. You know, I'm put together, educated, well-traveled, cultured. How could I have ended up in such a horrible situation? The emotion and the feeling is something I can't even describe. I was so overwhelmed with packing up my house and trying to figure out where things could go and trying to figure out how much money I had to spare to get a truck to take it to a storage unit and how much a storage unit was going to cost me. And honestly, the last thing that went through my mind was like, where am I going to live? I guess because I never conceived that I would not have somewhere to go. This film in particular is making a difference in the world. And I love that Luciana, when she wrote it, created such dynamic characters that my character, the landlord, for example, is struggling in her own way and has some empathy, but she has to also put her foot down, even though that's really a challenging thing to do because it's a mother and a daughter that she needs to evict, but she also has her own bills to pay so that she doesn't end up in a situation like that. So it's a weird dichotomy that, it will, as an actor, will be really fun to play. Jenny's um, Martha's daughter, who is the lead role in the short film, and she's basically just the girl that going through it all. And Jenny, when they whisper, you're just like, that's weird, you know? <laughs> kind of thing. But remember, it's all make-believe. It's all for, for fun. I can't even speak. It's going to be probably the best one we've made so far. A lot of uh, very like emotional footage so far, a lot of really powerful stuff. Scenes in this film are based on real people, real events, that sort of thing. So there's a lot of like kind of emotionally charged energy going into every setup. Does that inform how you shoot it to a certain degree? Yeah, and the, the, you want to go with a, a really, really realistic sort of visual palette. You don't want to make anybody feel like it's too commercialized. It needs to feel 
real and gritty and very understated in the visuals uh, so that the thing that you focus on is the characters and not the, the shot of the lighting. It's all about the people. But we're gonna light it so that we only focus more dramatically on our lead character, Martha, and then the lights go off and she's just in the dark, you know? Lighting affects the emotion because it can, in this case, um, Luciana wanted something that was a little more gritty, a little bit more natural. And we're going to arm it in from the top of this uh, wall here for some backlight. We have some really nice source material, some educational source material, something that something that most people uh, need to see. We're doing a, a big scene today uh, with multiple characters, so there's a lot of us here today, and we're gearing up for that really intense emotional scene. Uh, the Youth Cinema Project is an organization that comes into schools of low income and teaches um, filmmaking to kids as young as elementary. We were kind of just helping around with whatever was needed, like production design, slating, and gives them the tools and build, helps them build their film from the bottom of the way up. It's been good. We've been in four different rooms now. Um, it's all been going really smoothly, um, and we're lucky. We have a big garage filled with props and, and stuff to design the sets today, so that always makes it extra fun. Good morning. We're going to walk into our yeah. set today. This is our social work office today. As you can see is where our lead character comes to learn about what options that she have, you know, now that she has to leave her home. And Miss Garcia, which is the character I play, is here to tell her all the business information she does not want to hear. And basically we're just telling the truth how the system really fails a lot of people who don't have homes. Soft sticks. So we're now to our big court scene, and we're getting our extras slash crew slash everything else in there to make it look as real as possible. And this is when our lead character yeah, goes to court to try to figure it out a way to stay in her home. Yes. Okay. So for the living room, what did you have in mind um, for that space? For so there is a two-seater outside okay. that we can put in that space. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just one of these good guys. Maybe she's going to be a little bit more confused. I remember when I experienced homelessness. When this film came to me, at first I was just like, I, I don't, I feel like maybe this might be too much for me to, to manage, right, to deal with. But then I was like, you know, it could be a part of my healing process. It could reach somebody and teach somebody or help somebody. Something that we're trying to provide with Invisible People is a narrative version of stories that are real so that they can reach a broader audience and be relatable to that audience. Um, and hopefully, open people's eyes to maybe some misperception they have about what's going on or how people get into a situation or why they might stay in that situation and maybe open people's eyes to the circular struggle that is systemic. We are shooting in what is an active living space for a lot of people. So when we're outside, we're just going to speak as quietly as we can, we'll be very respectful of their parking space and and just their day-to-day -day life. I kind of wanted to do a Western cut. You know when you hear the, the music go, da -da, mm -hmm. and they kind of meet in the middle? Mom, look, I don't oh, awesome. It's working! <laughs> you know, because women are the best. Look at us running the show. True. I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> do you have fun? I hope yeah. you enjoyed this behind the scenes. We are excited. This movie's gonna come out soon, right here on YouTube, and you all made it happen. And while this is all fun, amazing crew, amazing cast, super thankful for all of them, eviction is not fun. Sadly, more and more and more and more Americans are going through eviction. And we invite you to join us on this fight against homelessness in any way you can partake, be it sharing our links, be it sharing our video, being donating your time, donating your money. There's many ways to get involved and no help is too small. Thank you all.